Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. One man dead, another in critical condition following an early morning crash. Washington State Patrol says 23 year old Austin Nauert was driving north on Highway 2 near Deer Road and lost control. The car went through a guardrail and down an embankment, landing on its roof. His passenger, Ryan Greenwood, died on scene. Both wearing, were wearing seatbelts, but WSP believes alcohol was a factor. Nauert recovers. If he recovers, he will face charges for vehicular homicide. KXY 4's Allie North working for you tonight. She spoke with family and friends and has more on the accident. This accident happened just 12 hours ago, so still very fresh for the family and friends of those two young men. And in some cases, this is a hurt that may never heal. Heartbreak on the highway. Balloons and flowers line the spot where two young men crashed early this morning. They were always best friends. They always had each other's back. They were always together, no matter what. Brooke Norman was one of several people today to visit the crash site. It's hard for her to believe that she will never again see her friend and co-worker, 23-year-old Ryan Greenwood. He died here at the scene. The driver, Austin Nauert, was critically injured. To the car community, they were everything. Brooke explains that the guys both graduated from Mount Spokane High School in 2011. She worked with them at ANR Motorsports in the Valley. She says their passion was cars, specifically Subarus, fixing them and racing them. Unfortunately, their love for high speeds was likely the reason for the crash. Uh, the vehicle was traveling north at a high rate of speed, uh, lost control, and went through the guardrail and down the embankment where it rolled. A makeshift memorial now stands where the car made its final landing. A final memory for the family and friends of Ryan Greenwood. It's um, indescribable. Austin, we don't know what, what's going to happen with him. And They were two of the most generous, good-hearted guys that I've ever known. WSP believes that the driver was drinking before the crash occurred. They're hoping that a blood sample will shed some light as to how much. Reporting in North Spokane County, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY 4 News.